My name is Amolara Aweyami. I head strategic partnerships at Jumia, and I'm also the country manager for Jumia Pay. What are the three basic challenges or biggest challenges are uh, within the group, right, within Jumia? Uh, basically, uh, the biggest challenge we try to solve here is uh, being in the lives of everyone, right? So when it comes to like day-to-day uh, -day activities, what you do on a regular basis, uh, Jumia wants to be at that level where we can solve a problem, right, uh, that matters to day-to-day -day living. And uh, that's like the biggest challenge for us because uh, at the end of the day, we want to win across the entire ecosystem. So be it you want to buy a product online, uh, be it you want to buy a digital service, you want to top up your phone, uh, you want to uh, order food online, etc. Uh, Jumia wants to be there uh, for you at every point in time. So every touch point, uh, for us, that's like the biggest challenge which we're trying to uh, conquer. Uh, the second challenge, I would say, has to do with the readiness of the market, right? Uh, I mean, are the people ready to receive e-commerce? Are the people ready to uh, to go online, to do stuff, are they ready to convert from offline to online. Uh, that maturity in the market and the willingness to, uh, to you know, take the experience or to you know, have the first experience, it's still very immature, and, uh, but gradually it's growing with a lot of marketing, a lot of education, uh, a lot of Nigerians are getting more and more aware of the opportunities online and what they can do online. Uh, I think the third biggest challenge would be the uh, limitations in uh, maybe sometimes from the, uh, the government, you know, uh, willingness to like uh, break through or disrupt a new, uh, a new sector, etc. Uh, it's been uh, quite challenging, uh, but the truth is uh, with each pers passing day, uh, we get to like cross every bridge, you know, uh, we make relationships, we do a lot of partnerships uh, with several uh, organizations and uh, from one step to another step, we're conquering uh, that gradually uh, and I think, yeah, that's pretty much uh, the biggest challenges we have. Basically, uh, the future is more that everyone is empowered to do anything they want online. So be it selling online, be it buying online, everyone has the ability and the, uh, the capacity to do that. Uh, the future we're looking at here is the future where uh, traditional retail and offline retail is way reduced and everyone is able to embrace the convenience uh, the ease of online shopping, the ease of selling online and not just, not just buying, also selling. Uh, today you can conveniently take your products online without uh, having to go through an agent or having to know someone who knows someone. You can basically download an app on your phone, uh, create an account for yourself on Jumia and then begin to sell, uh, which we have done such a way that it's so convenient, it's easy to reach and uh, anyone can literally like start selling basically. Once you have a product to sell, uh, you can sell and that's the empowerment that we are bringing to, uh, to people and that's the future that we see which is enabling everyone to participate in the e-commerce revolution. So be it, I mean, on a small scale, on a large scale, on a medium scale, everyone, everyone is welcome and that's the future. I think uh, the application of artificial intelligence is the right step in the right direction uh, because today there are tons and tons of data, right? Uh, behavioral data of customers uh, doing several things online, not just shopping now. Uh, I mean, chatting online, talking to your friend, uh, sending a message, etc. There are several things that people do online, and there's a lot of data that has, I mean, that has been collected, and it's been collected from time to time uh, to decide the kind of behavior, right? Uh, how a person can be uh, determined, kind of things a person can decide to do online, right? And I think the application of artificial intelligence is really good because uh, it basically helps and reduces time that a customer would have spent on a normal day trying to maybe find an item online, for example. Uh, I take Jumia as an example where there are thousands and thousands and millions of products online. Where do I start from if I have to find uh, a pair of shoes or you know, a, a particular bag that I want? Uh, with artificial intelligence, uh, uh, a robot or a bot 
can actually make a decision for me based on my buying history, based on, uh, I mean, how much, I mean, buying power I have, uh, how much I typically spend when I shop online, etc. So I think uh, it's, it's a right step in the right direction. I think it should be fully maximized uh, to solve a lot of problems around search, around recommendations, uh, around delivery, around, uh, I mean, customer behavior in general. And I think, yes, it's something that will definitely explode in the coming, coming years. I think the, the MBA students are, are very energetic, uh, you know, people, uh, and that's the expectation because, I mean, the idea is to prepare you for the business world, right? Uh, out there, you deal with, you know, people on different levels, and I think uh, it's very interesting to see young people who are very energetic, who are very curious to, you know, want to disrupt or to start a business and want to learn all the strategies uh, possible uh, before they get into that space. Uh, I, I want to really encourage them. Uh, I mean, it's, it's always good for you to listen in class and you know be a part of you know strategy sessions etc the most important thing is also to go out and try to talk to these companies where i mean these structures have already been uh implemented and you know just you know offer yourself to for example i want to intern with you for like you know uh one year or six months just to you know learn uh more you know hands-on and not just sit behind you know in class trying to get all the uh should i say uh theoretical knowledge uh in terms of the practical knowledge you can also connect with the outside world uh reaching out to the organizations that are already established and good luck to the guys who want to like you know uh, you know, be, they're entrepreneurial and they want to start a, a new, a new idea, a new business that have not existed before. Uh, we think that I, I think it's a, it's a fascinating opportunity here uh, for them, and I, I, I really like the class and the energy and the set of people that I see. Lagos Business School, Pan Atlantic University.